Just one mistake, and everything we be your tears gone. Ooh, I tried so hard to take you away from my mind. There is my mistake. The more I try, the more I find myself falling in love with you. Oh my God. Hey, girl, it's okay. Ah, for someone that is not ready to date this guy, you're spending so much time on makeup. My dear, <clears throat> a girl should never be caught on fresh. You get it? <laughs> you're peppering this guy with your good looks, yet you don't want to date him. For him. Girl, I, I didn't know I had to look horrible to go on a date simply because I am not ready for a relationship. Why don't you give Michael a chance? I know that guy really means well for you and he really, really likes you. Girl, I have tried, but he's not working. I just don't love that guy. That's because you've not opened your heart to, you know, like him. Why don't you just try him and see how it will go from there? <laughs> you know, I let you convince me into going on a date with this guy in his house. Madam, please, I won't allow you to talk me into what I'm not ready for. Hmm? Girl, you've been out of a relationship for over a year now. Why are you torturing yourself? It is better to abstain from a relationship than to get your heart wrecked. Please, I'm not ready for all that now, okay? Look, people get hurt and open their heart to love again. This is your celibacy life that you're living. I hope you won't end up regretting it all. Well, I'm trying to be careful. Your girl is not ready to gamble with her heart. Not anymore. You know what, yeah? If I were to be Michael, I would have stopped winning you by now. Because I don't understand how you're seducing me this minute and the next minute you're turning me down. Well, I have to go. I'm running late. Okay? Take care of yourself. Don't forget to buy me something else. Babe, I'm going on a lunch date. Please, oh. not a banquet hall. So, whatever you want, tell Frederick to get it for you. Oh, bye. Gosh, this girl. Locating this place, right? Yes. Wow. You made it easy with your description. Thank you. You look ravaging in that dress. Thank you. Please come in, make yourself comfortable while I get some other stuff, okay? Okay. Eric. Wait. <laughs> you two know each other? I'm out of here. Eric. You two don't get along. How do you know him? That's my ex. Wait, you're leaving too? I just lost my appetite. Oh. 
seriously? God, you stopped. I would have broken your your, your window. Ah, what kind of rubbish is this? Can't you see? I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I'm really sorry. I was I was trying so hard to avoid it. I... It, it it's okay. It's fine. I, I'm I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. Um, okay, let me just get you another dress. No, I'm going to the salon. You, you, you don't have to spend money. You're going to go to the salon in a, in a messy dress? Don't mind. You don't have to spend money. It's not a bother. I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. Um, I'm he heading to the bank to carry out some transactions, but I can drop you off at the salon first. Um, no, don't bother. I mean, it's I, I... the least I can do. Take a cab. I Thank insist. you. Please. Oh. Okay. Right. I'm I'm so sorry about that once again. Let me be your chauffeur for the day. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm kind of curious though. <laughs> what? What were you going to do with a stone? Like, throw it on my car? I was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually know that it's cheaper to fix a dress than to fix a car, you know. A great sense of humor you have there. Maybe I should start off a comedy career, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's Eric. My name is Eric. Adilola. Adilola. I know that the circumstances with which we met today is not a pleasant one, but I can say it's nice to meet you. Same here. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I should turn off the volume. Whoa. This is my favorite song. You're joking. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. You see, everything old school I love. Ah, na, 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 na. Sing so well. And you too. Anyway, thanks for the ride. <laughs> well, I should be thanking you for saving me the cost of buying a new dress. <laughs> I should go now. Oh God, please. Let him ask for my contacts. Alright, take care. Take care. It's quite delayed. Um, I had no idea that Theophilus was on leave. Oh no. Mm. I don't like going to the bank when he's not there. 
You should have sent your secretary. No, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm glad I even went myself. What? Something pleasant must have happened to you there. Hmm? Your face is covered in smiles. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I met someone. It was, I don't know. I met someone really beautiful and phenomenal. Uh -huh. On my way to the bank. In fact, we connected so well that you would think we've known from Adam. Hmm. Look, this is what I like to hear. Right. I like this kind of stories. Adilola. Mom, you like her. She's gorgeous. Hmm. I'm sure. Wow. <laughs> someone you just met and you're radiating like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe I should stop smiling then. Mm. <laughs> So, um, when are you inviting her over? What yeah. is it? Shut, 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 shut. I forgot to get her number. It totally skipped my mind. I totally forgot. Uh, let it go. Maybe it's not meant to be. Where are you no, rushing off to? I, I dropped her off at the salon. Let me just check if she's still there. I'll oh. be right back. Please be careful, oh, eh? Don't go speeding like a madman because of a stranger you just met. Turn around, turn, let me see. Jeez. Ah. Where did you make the hair? Is it the same salon that we said we were going to try? Yeah. Ah, oh, man, it is so beautiful. Ah, I'm definitely going to try them. Wow. Why are you keeping your face like this? Don't you like the hair? Babe, I met someone. He's so handsome. Very playful, and he's everything a girl wants in a man. <laughs> so, how do you know all these if you only just met him? Well, I don't know how it happened. We just vibed together. We even like the same song. He didn't collect my contact. He just dropped me off and drove off. So, why didn't you collect his contact? <sighs> Babe, I should collect his contact. <laughs> I can't stoop so low. Wait, hold on. So you think a girl collecting a guy's contact means she's stooping? So why are you disturbing my ears? <laughs> you had a chance and you blew it. Madam, I beg. 
Well, he didn't collect my contact. Maybe he doesn't like me. And you know he's really going to be embarrassing if I ask him for his contact and he says no. You should have asked for his contact regardless. Anyway, don't, don't go. So forget about it. And now I have just the memory of his voice and, and his look in my head. You know what, yeah? I'm going to advise you. Hmm? When next you meet a guy and you like him, ensure you take his contact. Huh. No be taboo. Babe, hell no. I can never do that. Okay? <laughs> Fine girl like me. I have home training. <laughs> I can't worry. collect a guy's contact. <laughs> For what? You're never ready yet. Don't worry. <laughs> Lola. What are you doing with my phone? Why are you searching for Lola on IG? Give me my phone. I'm curious to know the girl that's tickling your fantasy right now. None of your business, Mimi. Give me my phone. Did you wake up angry? Why so pissed? That water in my mouth. Give me my phone, Joe. Listen, I'm not joking with you. Did you wake up angry today? Hey, hey, hey I'm, not, I'm not joking with you. Give me, give me. You mean, what kind of rubbish is this now? You're always going through my phone and I don't like it. I've told you severally. This is the opt-in time I'm going to be changing my password because of you. Thanks. Thanks to you. You're by reacting because of a mere question. You're always so serious. Please loosen up. Why do I even leave my door open? Please, just leave my room. Please, leave my room, Joe. Whatever. I pray you don't find her. Big brother. Oh, really late. Eh? And that one couldn't even wake me up, sleeping like a log of wood. I heard that. 
Oh, so you're awake and you couldn't wake me up? Mm, there's a reason you have that arm. Mm, madam, move your ah. leg. What? Mm, seriously, I envy you. Well, not everyone is lucky to have a job as a social media manager. <laughs> Continue to fool yourself. <laughs> Please, you talk too much. You're going to be late for work. You know they just traffic. I know. Madam, that is not how to iron. Oh, don't scatter this thing for me now. Oh. Okay, okay, fine. Let me help you. Just go take your bath so you won't be late for work, oh, okay? Thank you, baby. How to go? Yeah, come in. Eric. Lola, come here. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, please, uh, sit. Thank you. Oh. Ah, no, 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 I'm, I'm really sorry. Hope you were not embarrassed by that. No, 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 not at all. I, I mean, I, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to see you. It's been three whole weeks I've been hoping to see you again. I mean, my bad. The last time I didn't get to collect your contact, so... You, you can imagine my excitement when you literally just walked into my office. So, um, you are the CEO of this company? And you're the one the recruitment company decided to send across as my new personal assistant. Wow. Isn't Cupid trying to tell us something? Uh, my credentials. You have the job. Just like that? Well, I wouldn't ask for a better personal assistant. <laughs> Thank you. So when do I resume? No. Just kidding. I mean, you can start whatever you want. You can start now, you can start next week. Whatever works for you. All right. Thank you. Um, so, can I call you sometime? Your number is in your credentials, right? Yes, it's there. Great. Uh, why not? You can call me. You're my boss now. Well, I... I want to be more than a boss. I want to be a friend, too. If you don't mind, that is. All right, I'll, I'll take my leave now. Do have a great day. You too. <sighs> what a coincidence. This one here and this dude seem to be running into each other. Maybe someone has tied your placenta together. Ah, babe, which one is that one again? You have started again. What do you mean by placenta and tie up? Babe, I felt like screaming when I saw him. I just had to comport myself. I think it's your soulmate. Yeah, because the universe seemed to be bringing you two together. I am so happy to see him. Yeah, because the universe seemed to be bringing you two together. Right? And I would be so happy if the universe brings us together. I have liked this guy since the first day I set my eyes on him. We seem so perfect together. But it may not work since he's now my boss. And so what? You guys already knew each other before he employed you. It doesn't matter, Jerry. <sighs> but <clears throat> our shabby, you want to select your shabby? Ah, so fast. Baby didn't even creep or walk. He just jumped like that. Oh. Our shabby. <laughs> Going to fly, girl. There's no time to waste. Baby. Sharp, sharp. Just calm down. Let's just do this. The way you're acting, like, you started a thing. <laughs> One step at a time. Please, I can't one wait, Jerry. I can't wait, girl. Take one step at a time. <laughs> There's no need to run. These Instagram people are so bitter. 
imagine the type of hateful comments they are dropping on my client's page. I will reply them all. Ah, there's no need. Just ignore the comments. After all, your clients will see them. Hello? Hi, Lola. Eric. You, you recognize my voice? <laughs> That's encouraging. Why won't I know your voice? We sang together. Right, we did. <laughs> um, Lola, I'd, um, I'd like to know you better. Hmm. Okay. Adelola Adikunle. I am 28 years old. Christian. Come off it. Come off it. I, not in that way. I mean... Uh, okay. I'd like to take you out on a date. And you... You can tell me the rest. Ah... Uh, Oh, okay. I'll be free for the weekend. Alright, so um, I can pick you up if you send me an address. Alright, no problem. I, I'll i send it right away. Okay. That may not keep you up too late. Have a good night. Alright. Good night. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> Somebody's son will find me one day too. <laughs> oh, um, what did you say? <laughs> Wait. <sighs> you just asked me out on a date! <laughs> If I let me reply him, let me send him the address immediately. Oh, oh, gosh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, finally. You know, I've been, uh, I've been looking for the right words, the right words to, to tell you how beautiful you are. Thank you. You are a pleasant sight to behold. Am I? You are. Okay, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Lola, um, I want, I want to be a crucial part of your life. And I'm hoping that there is no one who, who is occupying the spot I create. Wow. Straight to the point. Have you seen yourself? Have you, have you looked yourself in the mirror? Do you know how beautiful you are? I, I'm just trying to shoot my shot fast before one Prince Charming comes and sweeps you off your feet. <laughs> so. Ah, my sister, Mimi, she's so annoying, man. Ah! <laughs> I hope you're not annoying, too, because same blood flows in the vein. Well, if that's you trying to know your potential boyfriend better, no, I'm not annoying. Mm. I'm a sweet guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, but seriously, though. Okay. Uh, apart from being the mm. CEO of Redford Company, yeah. tell me more about Eric. 
Eric Chimda Lokalo. Mm -hmm. um, graduated from Unilag. Unilag? Yep. Wow. Wait, don't tell me that you finished from there too. No, I, I've always... That would have been the coincidence of life. No, I didn't attend Unilag. <laughs> when... <laughs> <laughs> That was it. I had fun. I had a great time. Mm, you're not even looking at me. What is in these eyes of mine that you're too scared to look at? Hmm? Um. <clears throat> uh, hi. Um, ah, hi. Uh, Eric, meet my friend, Gift. Oh, Gift. Uh, nice to meet you. Same here. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, I guess I'd, um, I'll, I'll just go. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Tomorrow. Yeah. Nice to meet you once again. Oh, same here. Okay. Good night. I'm too sorry. <laughs> Hi. What? Madame, come and give me this. Give me more details. Come! Please, <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah, come in. Sir. Yeah? You have an appointment with Horizon Group of Companies scheduled 12 p.m. That's in an hour time. So, you would address your boyfriend as sir? Hmm? Eric, we're in the office. We have to be professional. What are you afraid of? Your boyfriend owns the entire space. I mean, nobody's going to fire you. If that's what you're thinking. I might as well just shut the whole place down. Hmm? Besides, it's just you and I here. Please, please stop. Babe, stop. Stop, babe. Babe, stop. Stop, babe. What's going on here? Mimi, this is <clears throat> an office. And as such, you're required to knock before you come in. Isn't this the new peer you just employed? And she's throwing herself already at you. Oh, Sir, I beg to take my leave now. Please, excuse me. What are you doing here? Lola? So that's her, right? What are you doing here? Well, I was just passing by and decided to come see her to my brother. Oh, I'm not allowed here anymore. Well, next time you knock. And don't disrespect my employee. So it is right that you kiss and touch your employee right here in your office. That kid just wants to get rich off you. For your information, that girl is my girlfriend and your advice is not needed, Mimi. Thank you. Girlfriend? Mom, I'm serious. They were making out in the office. In fact, they would have gone for that if I didn't show up. Stop it. Do not disrespect your brother this way. Is that what you're even saying? You should be disgusted and demand for a sack. She's spoiling your son. Eric is an adult. He's not irresponsible enough to go that far in his office. Besides, she's his girlfriend, so... You know her too? Uh, I've not met her, but he's told me about her. Hmm? Stop being all up in your brother's space. Hmm? Give the young man space to breathe, for God's sake. Here's the only reason I missed that. That other girl would have gotten a sack later as soon as I reported her to him. But you and Eric are just pets of some feather. Watch your tongue, young lady. I'm sorry, Mom, but. Aren't you going to do anything about it? Let this matter rest, please. Eh? 
Your father made your brother CEO because he knew he was capable enough to handle it. Let us drink water and drop the cup for you in this house. Mimi. Babe, babe. Eric. Eric is Lola in the office, please. So you're going to leave without informing me? I was going to call you when I get home. Really? Eric, please. Let's take our relationship off work. Why? I mean, why pretend about it? We are two adults who like each other and we're going out. Why hide it? Work ethics. Have you forgotten what happened in your office today? Yeah. About that, I'm sorry. I put you in that situation. I take total responsibility for it. I'm sorry. It's fine. But do not let what my sister said affect you. Hmm? I told you now, she gives us a lot of headaches. She's a nut case. Discard it. Okay? I know you told me that, but I don't blame her. That's what everyone would think when they see a boss and an employee romance. You know what I'm talking about. You know what? Okay. How about I make this public? Let everybody know. Let everybody Shh. know that I'm going out with you. Stop it. Let other employees know so that when they see us in compromising positions, they will know we should. No, that's not happening. Okay? So you're going to be avoiding your boyfriend now. Eric, stop it. Eric, stop it. I have to go. Ignore my sister. Like I said, See, don't bother about the things that she says. She's. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Why are you looking sad? Something happened at the office today. What is it? Uh, I and Eric were kind of making out when his sister barged in. That is not a good first impression for your boyfriend's sister. I know. And you, why will you be making out at your workplace? <sighs> Babe, I was carried away. And the sister obviously doesn't like me. She said I'm throwing myself at him. What would you have her think? Huh? And he, why couldn't you have self-control? You're not even helping matters. Ha. <sighs> dress okay are you sure she will like me of course of course your your dress is beautiful and I already told you my mom is a very simple woman you have nothing to worry about I mean you're with me okay okay <sighs> <Let's go. laughs> Oh. 
Good afternoon, ma'am. You're welcome, my dear. Uh, are you stepping out? I yeah. thought I told you I was coming somewhere. Yes, my dear. I'm so sorry. I was looking forward to spending time with you both, but I just got an emergency call. Someone is trespassing on my land at Ekbe, and I need to go there now. Oh, are you sure it's something you can handle on your own? Well, I can handle it. Uh, but anyway, I've called Barista Uche, so he'll join me there. No need to worry. Uh, if it's something you need me for, do not hesitate to call me. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, have you been following me for the other ones before? <laughs> no, okay. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Please, feel at home. Huh? Uh, my son is really into you. Hmm? <laughs> Please don't toy with his heart. You know, his heart breaks very easily. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell her now. Uh, did he tell you that he's a very jealous person? Yes, you were on your way out, Mom. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going. I'm Take care me. of yes, your yes. guests. So, if you need anything, <laughs> just delay to say to call me, okay? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll see you when you come back. Okay, darling. <laughs> She's so easy. What I told you. Actually, my dad is the head not to crack. If he was still alive, he's the one you'd be trying to break through with. Mm. So you're a jealous lover. You didn't tell me hey, that. Hey, ignore everything she's told you. Don't even take it to heart. Let's go. <laughs> Let me show you around. Okay. Wow. Uh, Beautiful place. I've had it in the living room. You like it? Yes. Okay. So I'll show you upstairs. I'm sure my sister is somewhere in one of these rooms, peeping and it's dropping. He left, um, okay. left this for us. Um, That's the, the lounge where I usually sit down and read if I need to read or drink. <laughs> <laughs> keep it down, keep it down, my sister's around. <laughs> lucky to have you. You're so easy to love. Right. Stop. This what? is your family house. And so what? I mean, this is my bedroom, my, my space. No one is coming in here. I know. Still doesn't feel right. Okay, you want me to move out? I mean, I have two other houses in Lagos. I, I can move in into one of them. I'm, I'm only here because I, I still want to stay with my family, my mom and my sister, till I settle down. Hey, hmm? I'm not asking you to leave. I'm not so asking what are you to move out. Asking me to do. <laughs> Stop. What are you Stop asking please. me to do? <laughs> Let me say. Please hmm? watch, right? I do. Yes. Let me show you what? how to play. <laughs> mm, careful. Yeah. Marry me already. I could have said it's the alcohol speaking, but uh, you didn't have any. Okay. So, baby, uh, what are you high on? You. <laughs> you intoxicate me. Uh, for real. Oops, I don't have my keys. Oh. Um, I think it's in the bedroom. Let me get it. One minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, welcome. You again? What are you doing here? I can see you badly want to get laid. Excuse me. Who, what was that? Are you mad? Hmm. What were you speaking to her in that manner? Why did you bring her to the house? Girls like this ought to end in hotels, not in a family house. Are you mad? <laughs> are you no, mad? No, no. I've had enough of your excesses. It's enough. It's high time I moved out of this house, actually. Because this insult is becoming too much. What? Bro, please, no. I'm only trying to protect yeah, you. Please, let's, let's go. 
She's only you just... Hey, hey, hey. I'm not having it. Sometimes I wonder where you get your stupidity from. Because I know it's not from me. You take every chance you get to embarrass your brother's girlfriend. What's wrong with you? I'm only looking out for him. You always have issues with every girl your brother gets involved with. Do you want to marry him? No. Yes. You want to marry him. That's why you never cease from frustrating all the women in his life. I understand that he's your only sibling. And that you both were quite attached while growing up. But you are adults now. But mom... Shut up! Your mates are getting married, having children. And you're here fighting over your brother like he's a toy. Channel that energy towards building your own relationships. Um, mom, mom. I don't think there's any need for this. I told you already, I'm moving out. My mind is made up. Eric, no. When siblings fight, they make up. Hmm? Well, I cannot keep condoning her. I can't. It's back and forth all the time. Doesn't make any sense. Hmm? Mom, mom. Besides, I'm not getting any younger. Hmm. I need to settle down anyway. Eric, Eric. You know we discussed this before. You said you'll settle down before you move out. Don't change your plans now because of your sister's stubbornness. Please. Eric, please. I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Please don't move out. Please. Let's go. Let me leave both of you to make up. Well, you have to promise to be of good behavior and show Lola some respect. Hmm? I'll try, I promise. And I will move out on one condition. I will call Lola right now and you will apologize to her. It's not even necessary. Oh, you're still proving stubborn. Eh? You're still trying to be stubborn, right? Okay, me, I'm moving now. Let me. Wow, Eric, please. Okay, fine. Call her. I will apologize. Call her. Yeah, I want to drink juice. I want some juice. You can give me juice. Yeah, I'm moving now. Okay, okay, okay. I will go and get it now. Thank you.
Whatever's. I'm gonna have the fire that gave you. Lola. What's hey. up? I'm good. How you doing? Damn. Man. I don't know how to bring this ball. I never used to believe that angels leave and will go to you until I saw you. You're so beautiful. Now look at that smile. You can raise the dead. Thank you. I've been staring at you for a while now. I couldn't help but um, stare at you all through. Damn. You're beautiful and you knew every morning. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. You've been ignoring my advances all as well. Why? Let go of my hand. Let go hey. of the hand. Oh, sorry, sir. Hey, to your office. Oh, yes, sir, of course. You were so jealous. Well, I don't share. I saw the way he was fisting his eyes on you all through the conference. Really, that guy has some nerves to be hitting on his boss's woman. He can lose his job for that. Maybe I should buy you a car. Yeah, I should buy you a car so that you will know that you're not on the same level with them. Eric, no one knows we are in a relationship. You think so? What if you ask me? I think they all know. They know. I mean, it's been how long now? Five months? They're probably just still um, ignoring it or would I say denying it. R uh, right, Grace? <laughs> Yeah. I'll be in my office, so. Typical of me to shy away from these conversations. <laughs> you needed to see the way he was staring at the guy. Like he should just jump up from his seat and stop him from looking at me. Ah, so he's that jealous? Hmm. Yes, he doesn't want any man around me. He was like, Babe, I think I should get you a car so that these guys, these people would know your way past their class. <laughs> <sighs> Girl, you're so lucky. That guy really loves you. Yeah, I know. He loves me. <laughs> and he's so possessive in a sweet kind of way. I wish I had a guy like him, you know. I'm just so unlucky when it comes to guys unlike you. Hey, baby, no, I don't agree with you. All you do is to sit at home and you don't get the chance to meet people. It's not about luck here. But you know my job keeps me indoors. Mm -hmm. I know. That's why half of your male friends are from the internet you never get to meet. Baby, you should try and go out. Mix up. Meet people, you know. You get it? <laughs> I'll try. Oh my god, I missed him already. <laughs> oh, please. Madam, hey, hello. Are you jealous? Hold on, I'm coming. Hi, good afternoon. Is Eric around? Good digger. Is Eric around? Yes. Come in. Good morning, ma. You're welcome, dear. Baby, how are you feeling? Hmm? Ah, you're burning up. That's what I told him. Still, he has refused to eat or take his drugs. Huh? 
He just keeps asking for Lola, Lola, Lola. That's why I called him. No, baby, you have to eat and take your drug, okay? Mm. Mommy is the food. It's here. Okay. Baby, you need to eat. Mm. Mm? I just don't have appetite. You will eat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama. Sorry. 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 Uh -uh. Yeah. Hey. Look at food I've been trying to give him since he has been acting like a newborn baby. <laughs> now because it's Lola you're eating. Yeah. Okay, oh, I know when I'm a third wheel. Uh -huh. Let me go. Now please take care of him, oh. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, Okay. Relax and have, have some rest now. Okay? Lie down. Wait, is that all the medicine you're going to give me? <laughs> no, 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 not in this state. Really? Did you hear my mom say take care of him? Hmm? Uh, you can never change. Yeah. Okay, fine. Go away. Get some rest. Baby, get some... Stop! Mm. Mm. Okay. That's really good, Good. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. <sighs> You're the one that put my heart okay. before. Happy birthday, sleepyhead! <clears throat> oh, what is it now, eh? This is how they wish someone a happy birthday in your village by sprinkling water on them. Ah. Wake up, Joe! Mm. I want to know what we're doing today for your birthday. <sighs> is Eric showing your party? Maybe I could meet my own Eric there. <laughs> Are you expecting someone? Okay, um, I'll get it though. Okay. So you're the one my heart beat for. Happy birthday to you. Happy oh birthday gosh. to you. Happy birthday, my sweetheart. Why does she have such a happy love? birthday? Just five months in a relationship and he's both a you. <laughs> happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
the next thing now is marriage. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh, baby. <laughs> Say congrats to the birthday girl. Hey. Birthday girl. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Congrats, baby. Yeah. Big congrats to you. Thank you, baby. My baby just bought me, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what's up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will send the sales representative to you. Can you imagine? Okay. Have a nice day. What is it? Eric bought Lolaika last week. Can you even imagine that? I saw it at the company today. I am aware of it. So? No. So you knew about this? And you let him get a car for a girl who will end up breaking his heart? What he decides to do with his own money is his business. Why are you so pained? If you really want a car, perhaps you should tell your own boyfriend to get you one. <laughs> Mom, I can't believe you're saying all this. All that women will set their sons straight and yet you're here supporting him. Can't you see this guy's out to, to, to wreck him financially? What is it with you, callow children and jealousy anyway? Mom, I'm not being jealous here. I'm just looking out for my brother. Mm. But it's okay. I'll be here to remind you of this day when she eventually breaks his heart. Mm -hmm. Relationship police. <laughs> yes. Of course. Right away. <laughs> I'm tired of your late nights. Eh? Ever since you got a car, you always keep late nights and you dis disrupt my peaceful sleep. Are you the first person to, to, to have a boyfriend? Ah, Gift, calm down. You're shouting. Don't ask me to calm down. When next you're going out, ensure you got me your keys, else you're going to sleep outside. But I always go out with my keys just this once and you're already pissed off. What is wrong with you? Did I do anything wrong to you? Ah. Um, maybe she's just having a bad time. Probably her job is stressing her out. I don't know. But she has never been this way before. I know we are friends and we usually have misunderstandings which we settle. But mm. These days she gets angry over little things. Seriously? Are you sure you're not overthinking it? No, because the other day she cooked for herself alone. We usually cook together. And she's refused to tell you what is the problem. Maybe you offended her unknowingly. Offended her? If I did, she should tell me. If she offends me, I usually tell her. So, I don't know. Babe, you know what I think? What? I think you should stop worrying about it. Your friend will come around. Hmm? Okay. Well, maybe I should just get her a gift and apologize. Even though I don't know what I did wrong. Apology gift? That, that's good. We've come a long way as friends to be having irrelevant issues. Alright. Now I want to see my own friend come alive. Hmm? <laughs> Stop being. <laughs> You're the one my heart beats for. You're the one my heart beats for. 
So, what is it you want to talk about? I can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> I hope it's not about your sister and her troubles. Of course not. <laughs> um, I want to marry Lola. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know you love her very much, and uh, she's a sweet girl, no doubt. Mm. But isn't it too soon? I, I don't think so. Not at all. I mean, we've been dating for almost six months now. It's only expected. Besides, I'm not getting any younger than I'm 32. Well, uh, if you think you're ready, it's all good. Marriage is a beautiful thing. And if you believe you're ready, then I'm ready. I'm ready to be a grandmother. <laughs> When do you plan to propose? Soon as one. Sooner than you expect. Hmm. My boy is now a man. <laughs> you need to stop. Ah. Need to stop. Eric is at it again. Oh, this is definitely for my baby. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Oh, see so what fell. Oh, there's a note too. Oh, my baby is so romantic. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Oh, oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow, ain't you lucky? Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> what was even wrong with you? What? You've been angry with me for the past few days. I beg good job. Bring the letter. Let me see what's inside. Oh, give me. <laughs> read it, read it. Um, try this on if you're ready for a dinner with me. Love, oh. Eric. <laughs> My baby's so romantic. <laughs> I'm going to try it on immediately. <laughs> Lucky you. Oh, God. Lola? Oh my god! Come here, I'm happy to see you there. No, no, stop it, don't do that. Why? You're, you're looking good to your skin. I say they... stop it. Uh, oh, it's just a harmless greeting from an old time friend. Come on. But how have you been? Never better. Oh, god. But you're looking good, though. Fa. Hey, hey. Well, I look good for my man. Okay? Ah. You will soon be here, if you will excuse me. Um, anyways, happy to see you. Let me quickly get you, uh... I think I lost, I lost your contacts. Let me... Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't give out my number. That's... That's fine. I'll find a way to get you. Have fun.
welcome. Thank you. I didn't think you'd return from such a lovely date with a strong face. You didn't show up. I don't understand. Did Eric didn't show up? I've been calling him. He's not taking my calls. And now his number is no longer available. I don't know. I've sent him a lot of messages. He's not responding. Did you go to his house? I did. His mother is worried, so he's not there. I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe he's hooked up on something. I don't think it's anything serious. Uh, babe, even at that, he should have told me ahead. I hope my baby is okay. Oh, come off it. Nothing is wrong with him. He's fine. He's being positive, okay? Don't worry, he's going to call you before tomorrow morning. Let me call him again. It's not connected. Yeah, don't get yourself worked up. He's gonna call you, okay? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's not even connecting. I don't know what's going on. It's unlike him. Yeah. Ah. Ah. What do you want? Ah. Amy, please, I don't want trouble. Please. You're not welcome here. Listen, I have tolerated you enough and I am tired of it. I'm not ready for this right now. I want to see Eric. He doesn't want to see you. Mimi, why are you doing this? I'll be forced to call your brother to report you to him. Go ahead. Or oh, has he called you since yesterday? So you were actually sitting and waiting for him to call you? Nonsense. Uh, wait. Did Eric block me? Oh. Now you understand why I said my brother doesn't want to see you again. So don't be surprised when Nessie come here and this gate won't be open for you. Now get out and never you return. Just one mistake, and everything we built is gone. Ooh, I tried so hard to take you away <sighs> from my it's mind. It's okay. Stop crying. Why don't you wait until you hear from him? He blocked my line. Eric blocked my line. My messages to him on WhatsApp is not even delivering. Uh, did you guys fight? No. We are here when he invited me for a date. And that was the last time I heard from him. I don't know. We didn't fight. Eric has never done this kind of thing to me before. I am so confused. I don't know what is going on. Maybe he didn't block my line. Maybe it's network. I don't know. What if he was only playing you and now he's done? Yes. Men can do anything just to have a taste of a woman. They can go to the extreme just to use her. No. No. Eric can't do that to me. He loves me. I see sincerity when he makes love to me. Okay, so how then do you explain everything that is happening? You cannot reach him on the phone. He's blocked you on WhatsApp. Girl, what other proof do you need to believe that this guy has dumped you? Maybe he didn't, he didn't block my number. Please stop lying to yourself. This guy has dumped you. Stop it! Stop saying that! Yeah. Can you just stop saying that? Eric can never do this to me. He loves me. He can't leave me. Okay then. Why don't you wait until you hear from him at the office on Monday? <sighs> Good 
Good morning. Good morning. I was just coming from your office. Whatever it is can wait. I need to see Mr. Eric now. Oh, he's not in. You didn't know? No. <laughs> well, um, I was just informed that um, Mr. Eric will be out of the country for some time. And I will be in charge of the company for now. What? Yeah, right. And um, Miss um, Mimi asked me to um, give you this. What's this? When you open it, you figure it out. I have to be in my office now. What? No, 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 no. Just in time. Mimi, what's going on? Please, you have to tell me what's going on. Where is Eric? The car key, please. Mimi, God, I'm confused. What is going on? I said the car key. Mimi, oh. Mimi please, please, I beg you. Please, in the name of God. You have to give me a hint of, of where Eric is. Please, you're a woman like me, please. Please. Mimi. What is going on? No. Eric. I tried so hard to take you away from my mind. The more I tried. Falling in love with you No matter how I try to run Destiny keeps bringing you my way But the truth is I still want you in my life I still love you But the truth is I try to deny You're the one
Eddie, please open the door. <laughs> Eric, open the door, please. Eric, please. Please open the door. Baby, baby, you have to give me a clue of what I did wrong. I am going insane. You have to tell me what I did wrong. Baby. Baby, please open the door, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, please open the door, please. Please. Please, Amy. Your baby is here. Baby, please. Please open the door. <laughs> You're back? What happened? Hey, now you're getting me worried. Did Micah do, did Micah do anything to you? What happened, girl? You're, are you okay? <laughs> I saw Eric. Eric, wait, Eric, where, at my house place? Hold on, are they friends? Apparently. Oh, what a small world. Who would have thought you ever run into Eric again? I just wish I didn't. Now I'm angry. And in pain again. Would you believe Eric walked out on me angrily on seeing me? Can you imagine that? For real? What gods? But he was the one that hurt you. And he acted like the victim. You see why I'm not cool with men? You see why I can't deal with them? They all suck. He should have just returned to wherever he came from. He should have just remained there. Lola, it's okay. It's okay. Don't let him get you worked up. He's in your past and let him remain there. Please cheer up, okay? Gift, I just... I just wish I didn't set my eyes on him again. I just... I just really wish I didn't... I didn't set my eyes on him again. Like I said, he's in your past. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let this guy get you worked up. Let him just remain there. You'll be fine, okay? Please. Please. Hello, <laughs> please. Okay. Oh. You're back already. I didn't expect you back so early. I thought you'd spend some time with your friend. What happened? You look like you got into a fight. Yes, Mom, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Fighting for my life, fighting for my sanity, fighting for my heart. I thought I was good. I thought I was good. It's been one year I was okay, and then she shows up today. Lola? You, you know my friend, Michael? The, the, the friend I told you I met in, in Ukraine. <laughs> I get to his house today. And guess who I saw there sitting right on his couch? This is strange. You've only been in the country for three days. It literally feels like she's trying to hunt me down, Mom. I'm confused. I don't know. What sort of bad luck is this? Why is he calling me now? Why is he calling me? You should take his call. Then tell him what? Tell him what? That a girl he's so excited about 
is my ex. Really? Stop calling me a big. You should tell him. Don't you think he'll be curious? Hmm? Mom, it's none of my business, okay? He can find out whatever he wants to find out. I guess with time he'll find out who she truly is. Lord, do you know why my heart beats for? You've been avoiding my calls for days now. That's because I have nothing to say to you. Lolita, we've gone past this cold treatment. Is this because you ran into your ex in my house again? Uh, Michael, I actually came here to listen to whatever you have to say. Don't make me regret it. Why, why are you acting like I did something wrong? Okay, I get it. He's my friend. He's your ex. Okay? It's such a small world and not a big deal. It is a big deal. Your friend hurts me. He pierced my heart with a sword and I'm still bleeding. Look, I'm sorry he hurt you. But that's in the past now, right? You should forget about him. Oh yes, I have forgotten about him. But I can't pretend I am not hurting. Allow me help you here. Please. I care about you so much. I hate to see you broken. Why are you acting like a saint? No, no, no. What's that look? After all, they say bears of the same feather flock together. Okay. 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 I get it. He hurt you. But I'm nothing like him. We're two different people and we both have our different ways of handling a relationship. Michael, I actually came down here to listen to whatever you have to say. But since you don't have anything to say, I am not interested in whatever you want to have with me, okay? Please, stay away from me. I'm not ready for this shit. Seriously? So I'm paying for my friend's sins now? so hard to take you away from my mind the more I try the more I find myself falling in love with you no matter how I try to run destiny keeps bringing you my way but the truth is I still want you in my life. I still love you. Jesus, tell me what? Like, uh, you, don't, you don't mean that, do you? Eh? How can you write Michael off just like that? Michael does not deserve to be treated that way. Do I deserve this? I don't deserve this either. And how is it Michael's fault? You're putting your aggression on the wrong person. That guy has done nothing but to show your true love. <laughs> true love. The same way Eric showed me true love before showing me his true colors. I will not fall victim twice. Lola, this is not good. You're letting your past control your present. Yes, it's good for us to learn from our past experiences, but we shouldn't always act based on that. Gifts, are you advising me to date Michael? Knowing that his friend hurts me badly to the point I lost my sanity. What kind of a friend are you? The type that would look you in the face and tell you the truth. <laughs> what truth? Michael and Eric are two different people. Well, they are friends. Michael is friend to Eric. The guy that broke my heart. I can't deal with it. But Michael does not care if Eric, your ex, is his friend. So you shouldn't care too. Well, I care. I care. Babe, I have always told you I have no feelings for Michael. 
And now that I know his friend with Eric, wasn't it all? I can't deal. Lost it already. Okay then. Whatever rocks your boat. But I just pray that you don't regret this. Do you let my heart be I had to come see you since you refused taking my calls. Yeah, um, I'm sorry about that, bro. I, I just didn't know what to tell you. What really happened between you and Lola? I'd rather not talk about it. It, it was way before I came to Ukraine. Look, I do not know what might have transpired between you both. I love this girl. I really do. And the fact that you hurt her is about ruining my chances with her. I hurt her? Is that what she told you? That I hurt her? If there's anyone that's still hurt, it is me. Well, she told me you broke her heart. Eric, I don't know you to be a player. I am not a player, okay? I am not. This is someone I was almost going to marry. As a matter of fact, I was going to propose to her the day I stopped talking to her. Really? So, eh? Ah, my guy. Longest time. Simon. Now, wow, you know the call person. Um, work has been hectic, uh, really hectic. Yeah. Papa, it's been a while. Where have you been? Uh, I just got back three weeks ago. I just dropped by to get some snacks, man. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, I'm here to have a special date with my girl. Oh, really? Yeah, I see that you two know each other, Lola. <laughs> oh, that babe? Yeah. yeah so. uh, we had a fling back in school, man, and uh, but, a, but a sweet girl, sweet girl, man, you know, boy, she's an easy catch. Nothing. Really? You know. Yeah, actually. Um, boy, guy, what top? Come on, I'm not saying you won't chop. Just chop, clean out, nah, nah, no matter. Can that girl said to sweet girl? I was surprised when I even saw her. Oh my God. My brother, let me start going. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, please try to keep in touch, my brother. I would. Okay, bro. Yeah. Catch up, bro. Obvious he's drunk. I'm not drunk. Eric, I've told you to leave alcohol alone, especially when you're driving. What if you had had an accident? I mean, it's okay. At least he's home right now. Like, it's safe with us. That is what matters. You don't want to pick Lola's calls. Lola? Eric. Did she do anything to you? I've warned you about that girl, but you wouldn't listen. Hey, stop. This is not the time for that. Hmm? Leave him alone. We'll talk about it in the morning. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm tired. I'll see you guys in the morning.
You are at it again. You have not recovered from the hangover of yesterday and you are at it again. Did she break up with you? Talk to us. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Give him his phone. Dude, you stop. Don't leave him my phone. Stop touching my phone, Mimi. Stop I'm it. Sorry. What happened? She hasn't even called. Yeah, not even a missed call from her. What happened? Talk to me. I'll see who it is. Mom. Hmm? Lola slept with my friend. What? I would never have believed her capable of cheating on you. Well, it's not exactly like that. She didn't actually cheat. So I got to the restaurant where I was going to propose to her. Mm -hmm. And I saw her hugging and pecking a guy who, unknown to me, was actually my friend from way back. The guy comes out from the restaurant and I see that I actually know him. We get into a conversation and he starts to tell me that he has had a thing with my girl in the past. And I couldn't believe it. But it's in the past. It doesn't make it any trivial. I, I mean, he even said that he got her for cheap. My woman cheap. But should all that matter now? Of course it does. It does matter. I, I can't even get myself to to imagine that my friend has slept with my woman. Who? No, no. I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. I can't, Mom, please. But I thought you were madly in love with this girl. Well, love is not enough at this point. Have you heard of Okafa's law? What's that? It states that if a man has, has something to do with a woman, his, he always has a free pass to that woman anytime he wants. That's not true. So you won't marry her anymore? No, I can't. I can't. How my friends look at me. If my other friends get to hear about this, how, how would they... Who even knows if she must have slept with some other guys that I know? That, no, no, I can't. Look, I'm not happy seeing you doing this. The last time you did all this nonsense was you, the last heartbreak you had. And you almost hurt yourself. And I won't watch you do it again. No, oh, Mom, I don't. I'm hurt. I'm really hurt. I don't know how else to hear. Oh. You have to find a way. You will find a way. Look. Take a break. Go on vacation or something. Anything is better than this rubbish. Hmm? I can't even believe I'm such a fool. Oh, I'm mean such, I mean such a fool. It's such a fool. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Everything will be alright, you see. Everything will be alright. Just hold on. That was, um, when I left for Ukraine. But you should have heard her out at least. Why? I would have been listening to lies because I, I, I know what I saw. I know exactly what I saw. They were pecking and, and hugging. Come on, he was not lying. Okay, she had something to do with your friend in the past and so what? Yeah, it's just like me backing off now because she dated Lola. When that happened way before you and I even met. Well, I can't stand it. 
they thought of you know that my friend has had something to do with my woman. No, I I wouldn't be able to live with that. Well, different strokes for different folks, they say. As long as she didn't cheat on me, I don't care. Yes, I do really love that girl. I'd rather cut ties with that friend and leave my woman. Well, not, not all of us are blinded by love. I'm not blinded by it. I just choose to look beyond her past. I love this girl. I really do. I have told you to stop coming here. And you should stop treating me so unfairly. Stop punishing me for another man's offense. You will play me just like he did. You two are friends, I don't expect less. He didn't play you. What did you say? I spoke to Eric. And he denied it, right? You believed him. This is words against mine. What was I even expecting? You two are friends. You know what? When you're done standing here, the person that opened the door for you can as well close it when you're leaving. Lola. Don't you dare Lola me. The man you call a friend broke my heart. He left me shattered for no reason and you're here to defend him. I'm not defending him. That's exactly what you're doing. No, Lola. Hear me out, okay? What? Okay. You remember that day at the Swiss cuisine? He was supposed to propose to you. Yes. But then he said he ran into one Simon guy. He said he's an old friend of his who claimed to have had a fling with you in the past. Simon? Simon is Eric's friend? Exactly. <laughs> Simon, thank you so much. I couldn't contain my excitement when you called me and told me you paid my examination fee. That one, there's nothing. That's just nothing. It's just there. The thing is that the expiration um, dates for the fee payment was already closed. And I couldn't help with that to do something. Mm. I know these. I'll do for love now, you know. <laughs> Simon, you have started again. It's true now. You act as if you don't know what I want. You're a beautiful girl. And I want you. Like I like I want you so much. Yeah. But I've told you, I, I don't have feelings for you. Um, who told you we need feelings to scratch each other's back? We don't need feelings. Hmm? See, see. Baby, Lola. See, I, I really, I really want to stop. See, there you go again. Eh? You know what I want, but you let me have my way to it. It's not nice now. I can't. Okay, no wala. Mm. Um, I, I came to collect the receipt. Oh, I don't have it. I don't know where I kept it. Ah, uh -uh. what do you mean you don't have it? Didn't you collect receipts when you paid? I don't understand. Why should I give it to you? You're a very selfish girl. See, since year one, I've been begging for this thing. I've been begging you didn't give me. Now, now this is your final year and the same thing. Why would you give me? See, if you cannot give me, I don't have it. Ah, uh, please, please. My exam will start tomorrow by 9 a.m. I really need to write this exam. Please, it's very important to me. Baby. Please. Lola. Darling. Lola. This is simple, though. Just give me what I want. And I'll give you the receipt. It's simple. Come here. See, it's not, it's, it's not hard. It's not as if I'm forcing you. I'm not forcing you. It's just that if you want this thing, let us go. You know, something like... Come here, come here. Um.
the mistake. A big one that haunted me for a long time. It was when I got home I realized they would have allowed me write the exam with my fee printout. That's sad. I understand. And trust me, I'm, I'm not judging you for it. It's in the past now. Okay? But was that why Eric left me? Was that why he left me without saying a word to me? Because of one mistake. Because of one mistake from my past. That was why, that was why he left me without... Stop crying, okay? I love you. <laughs> Let me love you too. Michael, you are a good man. You deserve someone that will love you genuinely. I still love Eric. What? He left you for one year. One whole year because of a mistake you made in the past? He doesn't love you. And I don't love you either. Sorry. Just one mistake, and everything we feel tears gone. Ooh, I tried so hard. Wow. So this guy did what he did because of what happened in the past. Oh. Babe, that guy does not deserve you after all. He lets his jealousy get the best part of him. Can you imagine? And I don't even think that I was envious of your relationship back then. Yeah. I was envious of the way he was treating you like a queen. And I wanted someone to treat me the same way he was treating you. But you have Frederick. Yeah, right? <laughs> and I couldn't have asked for a better man. Girl, you know what? It's his loss. Why don't you give Michael a chance? I don't think Michael will treat you the same way Eric has treated you. That guy loves you. Wait. <laughs> Do you still have feelings for Eric? Oh, I see. <laughs> you still have feelings for him? After everything Eric put you through, Kelly you almost became a drunk. You lost yourself. <sighs> but I don't think he still loves you, though. <laughs> you really don't know that. You needed to see the way he looked at me when we ran into each other at Michael's place. Like he wants me back. Mm. Where are you going? To Eric's place. I am going to face him once and for all. The more I try, the more I find myself Mommy. falling in love with you. No matter how I try to run, there's still the key. I didn't come here to see you. I came to see Eric. Don't you get it? He doesn't want you. So after one year, you were still pestering my brother. Thank God I even blocked your number from calling him. Good afternoon, ma'am. What do you want? I... 
leave us. Please. What? Leave us. Really? Is this what love means to you? A love that sees flaws and dwells on past mistakes? What kind of love is that? What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Pretend that it never happened and just let it go? Come on. At least I deserve a decent breakup. Eric, a whole year! One whole year! You left! I, I didn't even know what I did wrong! You left me shattered. You shattered my heart. I almost went insane. I was broken. I couldn't even love anyone else. So what about? You know what? It is what it is. None of that matters anymore. He's, it was a fling. No, he didn't tell you the truth. That's what he told me. No. I, I didn't want to do it. My final exam was at stake. I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? I lost my mom in my final year. Things became so hard for me. I couldn't afford to pay my school fees. Simon is my classmate. A rich guy that wanted to get in between my legs. But I had, I had to do it because he paid my school fees and refused to give me the receipts. So, why didn't you explain all of this to me? You called me the first day. Obviously, I was angry then. I didn't pick. I rejected your call. Why didn't you call back? I you didn't came even call here, me to me for me to know what's wrong. I was here. I came here twice. Your sister didn't allow me to see you. You even blocked my number. Yes, you did. Fine. I left for Ukraine and they say you returned the car. You, you resigned. Why would you do that? No, I did not. She fired me. She collected the car. She did what? You know, I don't even know why I'm answering your questions. When you didn't even deem it fit to confront me after what you heard. Get out! Don't touch me! Just one mistake And everything we be tears gone Ooh, I tried so hard To take you away from my mind Why did you lie to me? You said that Lola resigned and returned the car when I left for Ukraine. Why did you do that? Mimi, answer. Why did you do it? I'm talking to you! I'm so sorry. Sorry. I can't even believe this girl. You know, she hurts you and I decided to punish her for it. That was why I blocked her from calling you and I'll see you on WhatsApp, please. You did what? Eric, you did what? Eric, Eric, please, you hurt her. Eric, please calm down. Please calm down. Oh. 
I, I can't believe this. I, I should have listened to you. I, I should have listened to you and, and comforted Lola instead of jumping into conclusions. You made a mistake. It's okay. I still love her. I still love her very much. I, I love her. My heart is still with her. I, I'm still very much with her. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to do now. I don't know. I think she still loves you too. Just after I left for the airport that day, she came back in on the gate. But I didn't know what for her. I feel sorry for her right now. Please forgive me. What? Why did I not know? Why did I not know this? To my woman, to my friend, Michael. What? But you said you can't stand the fact that she had slept with your friend. Well, I cannot cope without her in my life either. You can still try. I can help you. Let's go to her place together. There's no need for that. I... That would be unfair to Michael. I'll just be here and drown in my soul. Just one mistake, and everything we build tears gone. Oh, I tried so hard to take you away from my mind. <laughs> the more I tried, the more I find myself falling in love with you. No matter how. Try to run, destiny keeps bringing you my way. But the truth is, I still want you in my life, I still love you. But the truth is, I try to deny you're the one my heart beats for. So you're the one. My heart beats for Just one mistake, and everything we build tears gone. Oh, I tried so hard to take you away from my mind. The more I try, the more I find myself falling in love with you. No matter how. Try to run, destiny keeps bringing you my way. But the truth is, I still want you in my life, I still love you. But the truth is, I try to deny you're the one my heart beats for. So you're the one.
Good morning. I know you're mad at me because I caused you and the last misunderstanding. I regret it all now. I ought to encourage your happiness and not to ruin it. It's just that I've been unlucky in my relationships and I became so possessive. I'm so scared because I didn't want to lose you too. It's okay. I understand. I'm truly sorry. It's fine. I called Michael and he's here to see you. Why? I, I mean, he shouldn't have. Downstairs waiting. Mimi, what did you tell him? Why don't you go find out yourself? I don't know what my sister told you, but uh, I'm sorry for Couldn't sleep all night. Why? I was thinking. I wanted to drive here from the last place yesterday, but I hesitated. I thought you didn't love her anymore. I thought I could live without her. Guy, yeah. I know she's your girl and... Why not just go and see her? Why would I do that? Lola doesn't love me. She made that clear to me from the first day I told her how I felt. Yesterday, she confessed that she still loves you. Are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, guy, I, I thought you were going to dress into something better. Uh, I don't even want to waste a second. <laughs> wow. Hey, Lala, I'm off. See you when I see you, okay? Um, please sit. Please sit, okay? <laughs> S sit down. Um, um, okay. Um, a minute. You're the one my heart beats for. So you're the one my heart beats for. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, just, if I 
find it in your heart to forgive me. I shouldn't have let you go. I shouldn't have. Please. And if you come back, I... I promise never to let you leave my sight. Please. I beg you. <laughs> Laura, please. Plan guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and everything we feel tears gone. Oh, I tried so hard to take you away from my mind. The more I tried, the more I found. Falling in love with you No matter how I try to run Destiny keeps bringing you my way But the truth is I still want you in my life I still love you But the truth is Oh.